Hey, Canada, welcome back to 7-Eleven Junior Hockey Magazine. I'm your host, Tino Retta. Time now for the CJHL Report. The Canadian Junior Hockey League brings together the 117 teams in the nine Junior A leagues involving over 2,500 players from right across the country. Now join us, Mark Juris, the head coach and general manager of the Ontario Junior Hockey League's Burlington Cougars. Mark, welcome to the show. Good to have you with us. As you look back at this last, I was going to say year, but 14 months, how are you guys doing? How's the organization done through this? Not going to lie, it's been tough. Um, you know, it's all, it, th this league, it's all about the kids. I feel so bad, especially for our 20-year-olds. Um, yeah. You know, not being able to play, putting everything into one this season to hopefully get a scholarship. <clears throat> yeah, and then just not being able to fulfill their dream. What's that like, the conversations that you have with the kids? Because, I mean, you're the head coach and GM. They're coming to you saying, you know, tell us what's going on. And you're like, hey, guys, it's out of our hands. It's being handed down to us by the medical officials. What's it like to kind of be the go-between between these kids and their hockey futures like that? Well, it was really difficult. Um, you know, like I said, it was just we're waiting on – we were practicing with 10 guys, and we got to go to 25, and then we got bumped back down to 10. Then we were locked down completely. Um, yeah, and then I was having individual meetings with our kids. We, were, we had a couple kids that we were going to try and place – in leagues that we're playing, which was, you know, they didn't want to leave. Um, so yeah, it was, it was really tough. You know, I had, it, it's tough when you got a 20 year old in your office, basically in tears saying, what am I going to yeah. do with my future? We're in conversation with Burlington Cougars head coach and general manager, Mark Juris. And, and not only are you a coach in the OJHL now, you actually played in the league. You played for the Cougars back in the early eighties before going to RPI to play in an NCAA scholarship. How much of that personal experience can you take and then share with these kids and say, look, it's not all about this year. There's still time. We can get something done here. Well, you, it, you're right. I, I mean, I tried to give them some of the, you know, something comforting. I'm, and my son was not that far removed from it as well. Um, I told him, you know, you can't give up. They're going to find you. Just you got to, you know, keep your passion. Yeah. Um, and, and somebody's going to find you just because you can't play junior this year. We'll find you a place to play somewhere um, and just keep going after it. And you're a good story that way, because after you played at RPI, uh, you went and played a number of years in Europe. One of the highlights for you, of course, leading the DEL, the top German pro league in scoring back in 1997. What do you remember about that experience and what can you use from that experience to remind guys sometimes things don't happen quickly? Yeah, no question. I mean, I was a little bit of a, I guess you'd call it a late bloomer. Um, I was fortunate. I had a, a phenomenal career at, at RPI with some phenomenal players, um, playing with the likes of Adam Oates, John Carter, George Servinus, you know, Darren Poopa, as I can go on, the list is never ending. Um, but you know what? The NHL wasn't for me, but I was fortunate enough to play, play the game that I love for a living. Um, and, you know, Europe is a, is, it was a great time. Um, it's a great family life. You're not, you don't have the road trips like you do uh, it, over here. Um, and I would, you know, I wouldn't trade it in for the world. Your name, Juris, is a little bit unusual. People are saying, hey, wait a minute, hockey guy, Juris, is there a relationship? And the answer to that is yes. Your son, Josh, graduated from the Cougars program, went on to Union College on a scholarship, then played 213 games in the NHL. How's Josh doing right now? What is he doing? Where is he? Uh, Josh just got back from Switzerland and he finished his two week quarantine so he can enjoy lockdown like the rest of us, but at least he can get out of his house now. What's the plan for next year in the Ontario Junior Hockey League? Have you guys heard anything from league officials yet? Are we going to return to some semblance of normalcy? Um, well, we just actually, which was so exciting, we got an email that we're having a, a GM meeting coming up here in June. Um, yeah, and, and I'm hoping now, like at the end of this lockdown here in early June that we can get back to some sort of opening up of rinks and get the kids back, back on the ice. Cause there's such a massive void in my, not only my life, all these kids that just want to get playing again. I can certainly understand that. Hey, thanks for, uh, for speaking to this. I know it's been a struggle this year uh, in trying to get the, uh, the game back on its legs and we appreciate you taking the time. Good luck in the off season. And we'll talk to you again down the road. Thanks very much for having me. And thank God we got the playoffs in the NHL. Agreed. <laughs> that was Burlington Cougars, Cougars head coach and general manager, Mark Jurish. And that wraps up this week's CJHL report, the Canadian Junior Hockey League.
your future is here. Up next, we're going to go into the vault where we look back at some of our favorite interviews throughout the first 29 years of the show. This week, we'll catch up with an 18-year-old Mitch Marner just two months before representing our nation at the 2016 World Junior Hockey Championship. This is Season 30 of 7-Eleven Junior Hockey Magazine. And don't forget, you can listen and subscribe to the complete podcast by checking out any of your favorite podcast platforms.